guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Heather. This is the Salt of Pur this is the Salt of Purvis Clan channel where I document my lovely life. But more importantly, this video is the Knitting Mama podcast. Uh, I did start a few last year, but uh, having a toddler and working and I got working on my writing. Uh, I do have a separate channel I'll link up in the cards if you'd like to check that out as well. As well as getting a part-time job really threw me in to a spanner. But I have come back to my love of knitting uh, because I find it quite a nice mindful task. It helps balance out my mental health. So I am going to kickstart again the podcast. So welcome. Uh, today I'm going to go through my most recent acquisitions for you uh, and then my make nine. I know I'm hitting this in March instead of January uh, but some of these are whips that I'm not super far into some of them and I will also be going through my languishing whips so grab a cup of tea or the beverage of your choice and I'd also love to know what you have planned so let me go through my languishing whips first. Okay, anyway. This is my beginner diagonal asymm asymmetric um, shawl. It's basically done, it's a free pattern on Ravelry and it starts in one corner and then you just increase along one side and I'm just using up this rainbow cake of Karen I had. I think it's Karen and it's just like a rainbow cake so then I can put that in my little screw box. That is my languishing whip so I'll be working on that and now into my Make 9 project. I made this lovely graphic here so I will be going through them. I have, I started two of them last year but I kind of it just stopped then its tracks so I will be jumping back into that and one of them is the Wonder Woman shawl uh, my mother loves Wonder Woman um, I'm not going to be doing it in the traditional red and yellow I, I wanted to do it in a bit more of a muted so this is how far I am into it not that far um, but I'm doing it in sort of this sort of beigey charcoal colour and this like really soft grey so I just think it will make really nice colours together um, so could get back my head so this is the shawl I'm making so the grey is going to be where all the red is and the yellow is going to be that nice sort of taupe colour so it's not in your face about it. Uh, this is a free pattern I found on Ravelry. It's the Wonder Woman Wrap by Cassandra Browning. And it has two sizes. You can make the Wee or the Wondrous. I am making the Wondrous pattern. Uh, so that's that one. And I'm keeping it in this wet bag that you I got from Kmart. But it's just a nice project bag that I'm using it as. So it stays all safe because I'm using... Oh, sorry, yes. The yarn for that is Big Baby by Pantons. Uh, it's a full ply, 60% uh, acrylic, 40% uh, nylon in the colours... 2563 and I don't have the ball band for the other one. So that's one of them. I'm also making the French macaron. Yeah, but I'm going to be so it's a little baby blanket uh, jumper. So I'm going to be using uh, this dark pink and then I'm using like a slate grey as like the top section of it. Not super far into that one either. I do have 
these two projects on my Ravelry, which I will link down below. Then I would like to make a half and half by Pearl Soho. Um, so I found this really like funky acrylic. I'm still working mostly in acrylic because I'm still a newish knitter. So I don't, until I'm like 100% confident in what I'm doing, I don't want to like lash out. But it's, I found, so this will be one of them. And it's just this really cool, it's got ah, speckled, multicolored. So it's white, purple, got some yellow, uh, orange in it, green and reds. And I'm going to be pairing it with just a nice, simple, yeah, I'm going to be pairing it with a nice, simple uh, Four Seasons Sports Saver in acrylic. So we'll have the accenty one and then just a nice grey background. So that's hopefully what I'll do. And using this is also part of my acquisitions. I went to Spotlight and they had this value pack of them. So I got three balls this size. So I'm hoping to use some of it on this. And then Stress Knits Yarn, Stacey from Stress Knits Yarn, is doing a knit along for crops and tank tops called the Tank You Next Cal. And I am going to be making a middle the middle of it I think it's number five is the tank top I hope to make in it um, for it so I will be using this yarn just for an easy care as well I also have on my make nine list a boneyard shawl by Stephen West uh, I don't know what yarn I will use for that it's just a nice plain shawl. Uh, I then treated myself to ah, yes, the new tennis grey knitting book, which is Knitting with Disney. So in here there is a Moana shawl, a bell shawl and the Merida scarf that are on my Make 9 list I really want to get to. Uh, the Moana shawl is actually going to be made for my beautiful wife. So she, I asked her what colour she would like. Um, and she has gone with a more earthy colours. A bit more sea base colours. So she's going. we're going to use the Four Seasons Blue Spot in peacock colour as the main colour then we're going to use another grey sports saver for an accent colour and then we're going to use this sort of sandy beige colour as another accent colour and then given I'm not a huge fan of having an all over yellow shawl for the bell shawl do a red for the rose, blue for be the beast, and then yellow for bell. So I'm going to do the bell shawl in the knitting Disney book, but in these colours. And I'm going to just put it into like a random colour generator and just let that choose the numbers I need. But I did get two of each of these just in case I needed more. And then the Merida Cable Scarf, I am just going to see what I've got in my stash and use that to make that. So they are my Make 9 uh, plans along with uh, one of my languishings. Let me know what you're making and I'm th thinking of making the Disney, uh, making uh, my plans for this a year long Disney knit along uh, just to go through and definitely get to these so if you'd like to join me in the Disney knit along let me know in the comments down below 
and I will try and update you. What I'm going to do, just so that I can really commit to this, is I am going to, uh, after I finish work, because I still work from home, I'm going to set myself up with a nice cup of tea and listen to an audiobook and do some knitting. So I'll probably try and get my Diagonal Easy Knit off the needles first and then move on to another task. So, I think that's all my make nines. No, sorry. My final make nine is called the Turtle Dove, and it's a nice sweater that I want to make for myself. Not sure about um, what colours I'll use for that, but I will choose that later in the year. So, thank you, and let's be mindful while we knit. Bye!